Welcome to Email Lack Online tutorial. Before us is this uh, question in modular arithmetic, and it says complete the table for the multiplication in mode 9. Hence, use the table to evaluate now 3 times 7 in bracket times then also in bracket 8 times 7 in bracket. And we also find the math set of 3 times m, which will give us uh, 6 then p times p to give us 4. Alright, first of all, we need to understand what mode 9 is. Now, mode 9 is number that which is probably in a circle of 9. In a circle of what? 9. So, for each of the values that will be written in this box, will be those number outside the circle of 9. For instance, if you have, okay, let us just you make this as an example. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. Now, since 4 is not up to 9, so it stands as its remainder. Yeah. Then, 3 times uh, 2 is 6. 6 is not up to 9. It stands as the remainder. Now, 2 times 5. I mean, 5 times 2 here is 10. Now, you can say that 10 is greater than 9. So, if you take a circle of 9 out of 10 it remains 1 so here we have what 1 okay so which just implies that uh, 10 minus 9 will give us a uh, 1 and to this end uh, 7 times 2 is meant to be 14 now take away 9 from 14 we have what 5 all right 8 times 2 is 16 now 16 uh, minus 9 that should give us a uh, that should be 7 okay so to this end now we've completed the first now 2 times 3 here will give us 6 and 6 since 6 is not up to 9 we write it as our remainder now 3 times 3 now is a uh, 9 now to this end 9 minus 9 we give us what zero so here we have what zero now five times three is fifteen now fifteen minus uh nine will give us a six so here we have a six now seven times three will give us twenty one so twenty one minus nine so how many nine can you actually get in uh, in twenty one that should be eighteen which is two then we are left with 3 right that is 21 minus 18 that should be 3 okay so to that end uh, 8 times 3 is 24 all right and 24 many 9 can we get in 24 that should give us uh, 2 which is 18 so 24 minus 18 should give us 6 Alright, so to that end, okay, this one has been given. So 3 times uh, 5 is 15. Here we have 6. Then the next one, 7 times 5 is 35. Now 35, 35, how many 35 can we get in? I mean, how many 9 can we get in 35? Uh, let me see. 35 divided by 9 that should be 8 that will be 27 so 27 my I mean 35 minus 27 that should give us 8 so here we have our 8 now here 8 times 5 will give us 40 so how many 9 can we get in 40 now that should be 4 okay then that will be 4 4, 4, 4, 9 times 4, that should be 36, and 36 times minus 4, I mean 30, 40 minus 36, here will give us 4, okay, so here we have uh, 4, alright, to this end also, 2 times 7 will give us 14, 9 minus, uh, I mean 14 minus 9, that will give us 5, now 3 times 7, is 21 I guess we add one 21 okay all right 
so here we have three so automatically here we also be three now five times four is 35 i guess we add one seven times five that'll be eight so here we also have eight then eight times seven uh, that should be 56 now 56 divided by nine uh how many nine can we get a 50 that would be six now six times nine that would be uh 54 now 56 minus 54 you have a uh, you have a uh, two right oh sorry this is seven times seven first okay here should be two then yeah, seven times seven will give us 49 49 divided by nine should give us five so five that will be 45 now 49 minus 45 will give us four okay all right i guess we're almost true so two times uh eight is 16. now 16 minus nine that will give us seven uh five times eight is 40. i guess we are doing five times eight here so here also we have a four here all right so to this end uh seven times eight i guess we have one seven times that will be two so here will also be two okay then uh, eight times eight is 64 how many nine can we get in 64 that should be around uh, seven if i'm not mistaken that would be 63 so here we have one all right so uh this multiplication table in mode nine is complete all right so let us get started with solve uh, in evaluating the questions now here you have three times seven now three times seven this is three so this will be number one lesson number one three times seven in bracket times eight times seven okay three times seven now three times seven here you have three here yeah. then eight times seven here you have two now in this case now three times two here we have what six finance huh the number two here you have a uh, three times m which is equals what six now let us find the set of the value of m now look here this is m so what will you multiply by three in mode nine to give you six now look here this is three all right so for the value of three here you have six here and six right so a number that you multiply by three in mode nine to give you six so here you have six here you have five times nine so here you are sorry three times five to give you six and the next one here okay you won't have a three times two will also give you six and the next one three times eight will also give you six so the set value of our m here will be two five and eight all right now the next one here is p times p which will give us what four now take note that p and p which means the number must be the same all right and let us find uh four first the value as in the answer for four so here we have one here here we have another one here we have another four here we have another four here now out of this one two three four now which of them has the same value when multiply i mean uh for the multiplication has the same value now here you have two and two 
so here you have 2 times 2 will give us 4 here now the next one you will have 4 again now 4 I mean 8 times uh, 5 also equals what 4 but in this case there are different values so this is out of it so the next one 7 times 7 7 times 7 now give us 4 okay and the next one 5 times 8 5 times 8 give us 4 so here the P will be 2 and uh, 7 all right <coughs> This is the final answer. Now, if you love what I've just done, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos. Thank you and God bless you.